Hey, hey, thanks for joining. Uh, if you're new to the channel, we are training for the El Paso Full Marathon, the Disneyland Half Marathon, and the Calgary Full Marathon, all scheduled for early 2025. Uh, early to mid. Yeah. We're, uh, we're happy you're here. Stick around. Kind of surrounded by thunderstorms today, so we're hoping we can get in our our five miles for our week five training. It's currently about 38 degrees, a little chilly. Actually, part of the village got uh, snow yesterday, so uh, the season's changing. Hey, last week we talked about how the aspen trees leaves are turning. Man, they're really going for it. Five miles. Not pretty though, right? No, it was Not very bad. bad. Hey, stick around for a quick recap, and we have some exciting news about this week. Hey, hey, hey everybody! Thanks for uh, watching. Uh, we would uh, like to uh, welcome uh, any new subscribers, and as always, we appreciate our subscribers. Uh, do us a favor if you get a chance, hit like. And if you're not a subscriber, hit subscribe. And always make sure you hit the notification bell so you can be notified whenever we upload a video. Today ends our fifth week of marathon, oh. half marathon, marathon training. Half marathon, marathon, marathon training. Oh, right. Half marathon, marathon, marathon training. Oh, I thought it was marathon first and then a half marathon. No. I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, we finished five weeks and we're actually, uh, we did okay this week, except for, <laughs> except. Now, if you've been following, you know that we uh, have five cords <laughs> of wood that, Go ahead. that we need, that were delivered because that will be our fuel for heat this coming winter. Uh, it was just dumped in the front yard. And two big piles. Two humongous piles of cut wood. So we have spent our week chipping away at it. Mm -hmm. We're in a lot of pain. Yeah, actually my back's starting to hurt. Both of us are hurting a lot. Uh, we got the biofreeze out. We got the heating <laughs> pad out. We're taking fistfuls of ibuprofen. Oh, yeah. We're just, we're, we're in some pain. Yeah. It's some weird movement and we have a lot of it to do. Yeah. We really, 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 really wanted to finish it this weekend. But I don't know if you can tell, it's dumping outside right now. So I think this is going to be here for the rest of the day. We're not doing any more. Yeah. Also, um, 
well, we're going on vacation next week. Yeah, we, yeah, we don't yeah. want to really throw our backs off yeah, yeah. Yeah, before that, we go have fun. I mentioned during the run that we wanted to share some exciting news for this coming week. We leave tomorrow for Disneyland. Disneyland. And so if you stay tuned, hopefully next week, you'll get a uh, footage of us uh, attempting to run before we enter the park. Look at us. And, we're going to try to run. We're try. And, and we're ex actually kind of excited about it because we'll be at sea level. We'll see uh, how we feel. <sighs> Yeah. But uh, <laughs> plenty of park footage to come uh, next video. So, but back to the back to the wood. We're, <laughs> we're only like halfway through. Oh yeah. Oh. We have it piled up all over here where it's easy access when there's several feet of snow on the ground. Oh, yeah. So that should get us through a bit. Yeah. And then the whole side of the garage, we have it stacked up as high as we can go mm -hmm. under the eave. Um, we're about to go to the back of the garage and the, uh, in the flower beds. And shout out to Tetris Master. Amazing. Who said Tetris would never have a real life application? <laughs> yeah. Now I have two dishwasher packing oh, yeah. and wood wood oh, piling. Man. It's wood amazing. Stacking. It's amazing how the wood stack because of Tetris Master here. I'm doing all right. Uh, anyway, yeah, so, so David hauls it, like loads it up into mm -hmm. a into a like hand truck, mm -hmm. brings it over to me, dumps it, I stack it, and then he goes back and piles up more, and it's um. It's a thing. Yeah, man. I can't believe we're only halfway done. I know. Anyway, so it made the run today uh, pretty Not great. pretty tough. Pretty tough. But it's our longest run so far, and I know mm -hmm. we're going to start saying that over and over. Yeah. Uh, we made we made our five miles. It wasn't terrible. It wasn't uh, terrible in terms of uh, yeah. time. It was still better than uh, our times from last year, but oh, yeah. it was much slower than what we've been pulling yeah. lately. Uh, but but my, my legs something. just weren't moving. No. You did great. No. He was running even more circles around me today than usual, but I was just like, my legs were barely moving, but I made it through. We made it through. Yeah, we did. So. We did. And it was, uh, it was about 38 degrees when we went out there. We were trying to beat that, which we just barely we did. did. Uh, and I mentioned uh, during the run that uh, the uh, portion of the village yesterday got snow. What? So. Uh, yeah. Further up the mountain. Yeah. It's like, yeah. yikes. Uh, mm -hmm. So training's going to continue, but it's going to change at some point. Because the weather yeah. isn't going to allow it. Well, we're either going to learn how to run in the snow or we're going to be doing it on a treadmill. I was just thinking today, like, yeah, the 30-30 is not going to be fun to manage manually on a treadmill. Every time you say learn how to run in the snow, I think of that uh, newscast where that couple is running in the snow. But that's not... <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. I know. We have different snow here. Our snow is powdery. Uh, that's, that's true. <laughs> we can yeah. run in it. It's not no, ice I, underneath I, it. Oh, uh, and uh, one, one other thing. Next week... We run our uh, official 5K. Yeah, so next uh, next week's video, make it split into two videos. I'm just going to say mm -hmm. that offhand because yeah, we yeah. got a lot of stuff going on yeah. next week. Yeah. We have the trip to Disneyland, and then next Saturday is the 5K that we signed up for. Yep. That is on the airstrip, so yeah, it'll yeah. be nice and flat. Yeah. Um, and then after that, if you recall, yes. he probably doesn't recall. This All is going right. to be such a surprise for him. Do you recall? That's Mimosa's. Mimosa's on the mountain. So last year, right around this time, yeah. we did a little uh, video about how we had planned to get on the chairlift oh, and go I to the top of the mountain yeah. and get some uh, complimentary mimosas. Yeah. But instead, we had to go to Santa Fe to buy a car. <laughs> oh, so, yeah, that's right. So this year, we're really going to try. Mm -hmm. We're like right after the 5K. Okay, so actually, it's supposed to be a five-mile run for us next week. Yeah, but... Maybe. We're going to play that by ear. If we're feeling really energetic after walking in the parks, the Disneyland for three days oh, and traveling. And eating. And eating and driving back. So mm -hmm. next week's five miles may be uh, five downgraded miles. to a three miler. Yeah. But maybe we'll find the energy for two more miles. Who knows? We'll see. Uh -huh. Who knows? Crazy world. Yeah. And then we're going to go up the mountain and drink some mimosas, <laughs> which will make the ride back down the chairlift much uh, oh, that's true. Much more palatable. So we'll be at 10,600 feet uh, with mm -hmm. mimosas, hopefully. Uh, cross your fingers for us. But uh, so uh, definitely a video next yeah. week. Um, but maybe splitting up Disneyland yeah. recap and, and the 5K, 5K into yeah. different videos. Sorry. That's where I was going with all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, you know, wish us well. Please let us know what you're doing. Are you training for something? What are you training for? How's that going? Are we going to see you at either uh, the Disneyland half or uh, maybe you'll go to El Paso and run a full marathon? Or maybe, like at least one of you, we'll see you in Calgary and run with you then. Uh, let us know. Stay in touch. We really appreciate it. Uh, again, thank you so much for your comments. We look forward to them all the time. 
Uh, man, we've got a lot coming up. Happy to share with you always an adventure with you. We will see you very soon.